you see this this is my next huge project I'm trying to redo all the windows and what I've got going on over here there's a cat we, yeah we, yeah I'm just gonna show them this see this right here this old router this old router is sending a signal all the way over to that building I don't know it's, it's not that far but this barely makes it there I've got a bridge I'm gonna try out but the problem I have is that I want it to be mounted differently than what I have this you'll notice this whole exterior has to be redone I've got all this work to do before I can really figure out where I want to mount it I thought it'd be good to mount it like up underneath this eave and I'll show you what I'm talking about I wanted to put it here and run that where it could hopefully go through the tree like it is now and get to Kayla's house so I'm thinking basically of doing a test run I want to try to set this bridge up in the window like I've got that and mount hers on her end where at least I know it's gonna work hopefully double or increase her her internet speed tremendously because using an old router is a problem and I'll tell you why we'll come over here and test her internet speed and we'll see how fast it is right now before and after my thinking is we could set it up in this corner and keep it out of the weather it's probably not necessary but I like that idea do you have a speed tester on this or do, can you go to the website I usually just go to the website okay all right here's our speed test right now the downloads pretty slow Kayla <laughs> it uploads as fast as your download Wow 28.48 megabits per second and I'm gonna tell you why it's like that okay, I want to try to explain what's going on with Kayla's connection the way it's set up now I've got she's got a uh, an extender it works a lot like a router but not exactly it's basically just extending the signal so whenever it's communicating with this wireless router that's set up as a bridge it has one communication path which is a send and receive that allows these two items to talk to each other the other communication has got to go through the system that allows whatever's connected over here to utilize the bandwidth so here we've lost half of our speed because half of it's split between the communication of these two devices and half of it's split between whatever is trying to utilize the bandwidth. So you've got that going on, but here's another problem. The same thing's going on over here because I set this bridge up wirelessly so literally you've got that split up again half here and half here so literally what's going on is you got a quarter of the speed sitting over here because of this mess that we created with these old routers and extender so that being said the new bridge is actually set up where these two antennas are just connecting the the bandwidth between the two the bandwidth is then given to this transmitter from a wire on my router so this has full speed going into the a and then it's got a send and receive signal and that's all it needs going into b that's full bandwidth and then from B to whatever's connected to it, it has full bandwidth. So literally, you've got full speed from 
the router in here through the bridge all the way to the end router or whatever you've got set up. If you've not ever seen one of these things, these are really handy, then uh, you can check them out in the link below. Well, I'm really excited because then I can um, do do stuff faster, download things faster. This is the router. Well, it's not really a router. Extender. So she has this extender. It's pulling off of the router that I've got. I think the idea is to bring it in and wire it into a router in here. And you can use that other one that we're using right now as a bridge. And we'll see if we can get the speeds up. Unless you can hook this up directly, does it have a port? Yeah, it has a port. So you might can just leave it all and just run it straight in. Yeah, I really like that. It's worked really well. A lot of bees. See if you can hear them. Now I've got the UED, the wireless bridge here, cabling. So what I want to do is I want to test the range. I'm going to give it the best opportunity to reach about a half a mile. That's about as far as I would ever need it. That's a pretty far distance. I don't really have enough line of sight to go three meters because our land's not super flat, but I've got enough space to go half a mile. So I'm going to try that. I'm just going to set this stuff up temporarily. So you've got your antennas. If you'll notice, they've got openings for the cabling to go in. Of course, these are designed to inject power through a Cat 5 or Cat 6. I guess your power can go in either port. So I'm going to go ahead and run power into this port number 2, and I will run land signal into port number 1. we got power coming in from the injector into port number 2. And then I'll go ahead and connect my router into port number one. This will go in the room there so I can give it a proper test. This is cat six. I'm um, supposed to be faster than cat five, but I honestly don't know how that works. It's just wire. This other uh, antenna or bridge, once we connect it, we'll be able to see if it works. I'm going to. I'm going to do something like this, but I'm going to move it over like I did this router. But for now, let's see what it does inside the house. Here we go. We're in the house, though. Oh, yeah. Okay, so before I had it on 100 megabit and I stuck it on to 1,000 megabit side which is LAN port 2. So now you know. Use LAN 2 to get to full speed. Let's go to Kayla's and see if we can get full speed because she'll be so happy to have high speed internet instead of quarter speed internet. Okay I went ahead and, and ran this longer cable because I need this to go. I don't know if you can tell but there's a screen wire here. Not a good obstruction to have in front of your wireless stuff because it's almost like a faraday cage it really blocks a lot of signal not that it matters in this shorter distance but i wanted to give it the best opportunity I can the other thing is i got this crazy cat running around so i try to make sure that she gets on this it doesn't pull it down because this is barely barely hanging up there can't go anywhere without the crew hey so you going are you gonna go with this Huh? That's what I thought. Huh. They're gonna get mad because I'm only going over here to Kayla's. <laughs> right now I just want to set it up where you know it's just a, a test. I'm just gonna hang it right here on this nail. Like that. Nice and uh, professional light. So what are you running on your computer? Linux Mint. I really like it. So I'm connected to the Wi-Fi right now. Go wired. This is cable unplugged though. Oh, I've got it in the wrong port. Duh! <laughs> I gotta plug it into this one. We don't have power. Turn on the uh, power to this. I forgot you gotta switch to turn that power on. It's not plugged in over there. This is the story of my life. 
Okay, we got connection here. It's not, there we go. It shows a really good signal. Like, it shows it's working. full bars. Okay, now let's test your speed. You remember it was like 26 or something. Okay. This is the real test. I think it's gonna be twice as fast. Wait, I should turn Wi-Fi off probably because it's probably using Wi-Fi. Okay. So I've been working on this. I've been trying to make this video for like three weeks. We had a major windstorm that came through here. We've had a couple of windstorms, but one that we had was probably the worst I've ever seen. I had to do a bunch of cleanup. Really got me real busy, so I wasn't able to do that. And then by the time I finally got to that point where I could get out here and do something, we had a, a snowstorm. I mean, I'm really surprised at April that we're going to have a snowstorm. The bad thing is, is I know what's going to happen. It's going to be just like when both of my kids were living in the house and I can't even watch a movie because they're playing video games online. So I might have to do something about that. Ready? Not bad. Not bad. I think it could be a little bit better because it only needs about 30 megabits to be as fast as what I did in the house. And it's probably because, you know, I don't have it set up right. If I can get this all moved over, put it outside here, or at least just on the inside of the glass if we want, that's going to be the best setup. Let's give it a proper test. Since I'm inside, just inside the window, I want to see how fast this thing will actually go. There it is, 100%. That's as fast as it is on the inside, so me having it inside of this porch with all this metallic stuff around, it blocks the signal enough to drop at 30%, so this is, this is where it needs to be, or it needs to be on the outside. I'm excited. <laughs> I just want more and in, better internet, mostly for server backups and stuff. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's way better. And we're going to go to the north side and we're going to test it at a half a mile away and see how it looks. I wouldn't be surprised if it actually has a little bit better signal. We, we shouldn't have any metal in the way. That's the biggest problem. All these aluminum windows are probably causing a little bit of a transmission issue. Get in. Go around. We got the crew. Let's go over to the north side. About a half a mile over there. But got pretty good line of sight. So there's the property. I don't know if you can see it. I'll zoom in. But uh, this is quite a distance to be trying to to run a signal. But it's fairly decent uh, line of sight. So let's grab everything. UV. Weavy. How's that? Weavy. Try that. It says I'm connected. Wow. Let's do a speed test. Wow, that's as good as it was at Kayla's with the Y router setup. It's actually better than what she had at her house before. That's not bad. That's a long ways. You could actually get internet and you could actually watch YouTube with that because uh, she, she's been doing it for years. Now she's going to be excited because I guarantee you she's going to be playing games on there. That's it for the long range test. I appreciate you guys watching. I'm going to have a discount code for this in the uh, description and a link to Amazon also. If you want to support us or get you a deal on this, just check the description out. I'll pin it in the comments also and that way you'll be able to uh, get it easily. Support us. Check it out. Help yourself. You're going to have a great system set up if you get this weavy. I don't know how you say that. UV. Anyway, this works really well. You can get full speed internet at a distance. Um, quite a distance, actually. You really need to have good line of sight. That's just, a, that's just obvious. I feel like it works really well. Uh, I don't have a problem recommending it. They did send it to me. I feel like I've been really honest. You can see with what I'm showing you how it works. 
and uh, make your own judgment from there. But yeah, I'm super happy that we have it, especially for her. The cool thing about it is you can add more of these. Basically, all you got to do is just add on. You got a cow cube right there. She's going to eat and hauling that thing around. You ready? Man, you had enough? Chase, did you have enough? Okay, here comes the blazer. They're telling me it's time to go. You want to go swimming? Sure. Yeah? You want to go swimming? Go swimming, Chase. There's a frog over there. You can hear it. Come on, Chase, get in there. That's just waiting. There he goes. He's gonna dip in. Man, there's like four new babies out here. One, two, three. Ooh, four, maybe. It's always wonderful this time of year when you got little babies. 